55, um, section 4.4. So in this lecture video, I'm going to show you, um, um, do some example on commissions. I'm going to use real estate uh, as for my example. So basically a commission is a fee paid to an agent or a salesperson for a service, okay? So the amount of commission, okay, that we make is based on the amount sold times the rate of commission. So if you are selling your house with a local realtor who requires 4% commission fee, what can you expect to pay the re uh, realtor if the house is selling for $158,000? So the amount of commission is going to be um, percent of commission times the whole thing is sold. All right, so it's basically part equal to percent times the whole. So I'm going to take my $158,000 times by 4%, which is 0 0.04. That will tell me what my commission need to be. All right, so my commission, uh, did I? It's $6,320. All right, that's all it is to it. Now, this problem is a little bit strange, okay? So this problem says, Katie is about to list her house as for sale by owner. Suppose she needs to allow for a 6% commission for the buyer's realtor, okay? For the buyer's realtor. And she needs to receive a minimum of $228,100 on the sale. So she want minimum, okay, $228,000. So what is a minimum Katie can list a house to accommodate both of the, these requirements? So remember now, whatever she wants to set the price um, for the sale, okay, you need to include the 6%, okay, and her minimum, okay? So let's say X, let's say X is going to be um, the price that's going to be listed. So whatever this price she's going to list, okay, we need to go ahead and take off 6% of what she lists because she need to what? She need to pay the buyer's realtor. So we're going to subtract 6%, 0 0.06 of what she's going to list, okay? Then that will equal to the money she want to receive, which is $228,000. So basically, if you take 1x minus 0.06x, you actually end up with 0.94x, okay? What this 0.94x means is, now 0.94 is 94%, so basically she's going to receive, okay? What she really wanted is end up with 94% of what she lists, okay? She really want to end up with 94% of what she what she listed so she can end up with the money she want which is 228,100 so this problem all we have to do now is divide both sides by 0.94 and that will tell me what was original um, price that need to be listed 228 or oh, what she need to list in order to give away that 6%, basically, you know, by 0.94. She, so she needs to list that, need the pr price as this much. Round to the nearest $100, so that's 6 will become 7, so that's 242, 700. Okay, so that will be my answer, $242,700. So inside this amount, she need to take away six percent of it to the to the buyer's um, realtor's commission. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at a couple example of percent increase and the percent decrease type of problem. Okay. Percent increase, percent decrease is a very common problem. Um, a lot of times when we go to the grocery store and we notice the price of the things that we normally buy go up, maybe like you know couple cents or you know what I'm saying just a few cents we not not that big of a deal but for the sellers okay
and for the company that produced those items, when they go up a couple cents, they don't look at them as a couple cents they in, um, they raise up. They look at the percentage. They look at it in terms of percentage of the increase. Okay. So remember now, percent represent the part. So if I want to find a percent of increase, then my part got to representing the amount of the increase. And we need to divide it by the original, okay, where we are from, original price, because we go from low to high when we do increase. So we gotta divide by the original, which is the which is from low up to high. Alright? Basically the same concept for the decrease. Okay? This same formula. Now this problem says find the absolute change and the percent of change. So this wording called the absolute change is the same thing as the amount of increase over the amount of decrease. All right. So what is the absolute change? Or in other words, what is the in what is the amount of increase? So this problem is $244 is increased to $976, for example. So that would be, so absolute change is the same as amount of increase. So how much did that increase? I go, so I will take 976 minus 244. So that will give me my absolute change or my amount of increase. So I increased seven hundred thirty-two dollars. All right. Now let's find the uh, the second part, second answer, the percent change or the percent increase. So my percent increase. Hold on a minute. Is going to equal to the at the amount of increase, which is seven hundred thirty-two, divided by the original one from because I'm 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 actually go from two forty-four to nine seventy-six, so I'm from two forty-four, so that's what I divide times a hundred. So seven thirty-two on the calculator already divided by two forty-four, then times a hundred. I just raise up. 300% increase. Okay, that's the way how it works. 300% increase. Okay, so I'm triple, okay, I'm tripling it. That's basically the idea. All right, same thing. There's a more worded problem here. The stock price for KDV was $83.11 in July. In all, because the stock increased by 8%. So, this time, so my increase went up 8%. But in September, the price fell by 8%. So a lot of students think, okay, so I increase A, then I drop A, so there's no difference. So I must be go back to 83.11. But that's actually not the case, okay? Because who I'm dividing down here is different. Because I need, so if it's an increase, I divide it by my, who I'm from, which is a lower number. If I'm decreasing, that means I'm actually need to divide it by a higher number. So the number of dividing in the denominator is different. Therefore, my, therefore, the answer is different. Okay, You cannot say increase A and drop down A again and go back to original price. It actually doesn't. Let me show you. Okay. So if it increased by 8%, okay, so $83.11 times by 8%, Eighty-three point eleven times by point zero eight. So this is actually going to be my actual increase, okay? Which is six dollars and sixty-five cents. So this is how much I'm increased. So my August, okay, the end of the August. That means that will be eighty-three dollars eleven cents plus six sixty-five. So at the end of August, eighty-three point eleven plus six 
plus six point six five, I should the stock price go up to eighty nine seventy six. All right, watch this now. Now, September it fell eight percent. So this is increased part. Now I'm decreasing, but I'm not decreasing from eighty three. I'm decreasing from eighty nine seventy six. So I take my $89.76 stock times by 8% drop. So I'm actually losing $7.18. I'm actually losing $7.18. Set everything up again. So, at the end of September, that will be eighty nine seventy six minus what I just lost. So I increased six sixty five, but I actually dropped seven dollars eighteen cents. So uh, my stock actually went down to eighty two fifty eight. stock actually went down okay that's how we do these type of problem all right big difference okay well we are subtract you know what we are multiplying um, by the by the increase and the decrease is different okay I'm actually multiplying from different amounts therefore my increase and decrease are different so I actually do not go back to 8311 I'm actually losing money so in this lecture video, we quickly talk about commissions using real estate, and we talk about percent increase and decrease. Okay, that will conclude this lecture video, and uh, we will conclude uh, chapter um, or chapter four. All the sec all the videos for test two materials. All right, that all right. Thank you for watching.